What is good, y'all? And welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger for y'all. As you guys can see, we are currently in the sting. Gonna be another POV-type video trying to get my seatbelt. Um, but this is, as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, man, this is the first drive with the Eibach lowering springs. My initial impressions... My initial thoughts, you know, first reaction, how do they drive, um, you know, and honestly, it's really just like the maiden voyage to see like if everything's tight, what I'm be doing is just listening for weird noises and stuff like that. As you guys can see, I definitely need gas as usual. Now with springs, if you guys have springs on your car, then you guys already know, but if you've never ran springs, basically, with the springs, they need to settle. Um, so it takes about 24 to 48 hours for them to fully settle. And then you'll fully get the, um, you know, actual ride height, the true ride height after that 24 hour period. So with that being said, man, um, I'm super stoked to see what they actually have the car sitting at. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm not 100% sure how they're gonna look i'm stoked about it though again we are on 18 inch wheels um you know what i'm saying i was surprised that the gap was still significantly less than when we were on the stock springs um the gap the drop is actually pretty decent on these for it only being an inch and a half front and rear if i'm not mistaken the drop is pretty significant um so far the car rides pretty smooth man I'm um, trying to go through some bumps and stuff like that. I do hear like a faint rattle. Let's see if you guys can hear that. It's like a faint. There's like a faint rattle every time we hit the hit a bump. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that something is probably loose um, or needs to be retightened down after. You know the car being put on the floor um but yeah man this is exactly why you take these first drives uh you know what i'm saying music down you can have the ac on if you got to and then you know you just listen but yeah there's definitely there's definitely like a squeaking or rattling sound coming from the passenger side i'm not 100 percent sure if it's the front or the rear but i'm definitely yeah I definitely am hearing like it's like a rattling sound there it is yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and um I am going to get the car back up I do have to replace the pads on the front passenger side especially basically what happened was when I was reinstalling the calipers and the rotors um the pads I don't know why on the passenger side it didn't want to align so the gap was like a little bit small and it ended up shearing off a piece of the pad um actually getting them onto the rotors so I went ahead already ordered some new pads no I didn't get any like performance pads or anything like that I just got some basic pads just because I am about to go ahead and make the switch to power stops drilled and slotted rotors as you guys may or may not know if you've been uh, here with the channel for a while I have uh, drilled and slotted rotors on my V6 and I also had drilled and slotted rotors on my V8 Camaro um, drilled and slotted rotors are definitely the move for me um, on every car that I have I definitely try to get the drilled and slotted joints just because I know that the cars um, brake dust you know what I'm saying from those big brakes up front and not all four like my Camaros were uh, with this one, you know what I'm saying? With the small brake package in the rear and the big brake package in the front. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. But the brake dust does get, you know, unbearable, if you will. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get the drilled and slotted rotors. That person almost didn't stop. I'm gonna go ahead and get the drilled and slotted rotors to help out with that. Um, when I get these new wheels put on, you know what I'm saying? I definitely want to keep them as clean as possible. So getting uh, rid of or eliminating the brake dust is definitely something that is big on my list to do and painting the calipers as soon as I decide what color I want to go with 
to offset the wheels. Now, honestly, first impressions, initial thoughts, compared to stock, these joints, um, cause the stock, the stock springs, I'll be honest with y'all, the stock springs, in my opinion, no, they didn't make any noise at all, but they were, I guess, a little too loose, in my opinion. Like, you would hit a bump and go bouncing, like, for real, for real. And in these, it's, uh, I believe these are pro progressive spring. So, they kind of, I don't know. I mean, they kind of absorb the bumps pretty well, honestly. As you guys remember, when I first did the video of the uh, POV, you know what I'm saying, with my phone, you guys saw that the camera just kept shaking. So... With the camera shaking and whatnot, I um, I I already knew that you know recording on my phone was gonna be an issue as far as getting you guys good quality videos. Um, but with the Sportline Springs, dude, it's almost like I don't know. They're hella rigid, man. And the car feels good. It feels planted. Um, you know what I'm saying? It, it really does feel planted. And the transmission, if you guys are wondering, uh, we're still on the break-in period. We're on the road to 1600, but the clutch has been doing pretty good, man. Gear shifter feels great. Um, definitely looking into going ahead and getting that short throw shifter as we guys, uh, as we spoke about before. But I just want to wait to see if that noise that I was hearing uh, comes back because I am going to have to take apart the transmission again anyway. So. I don't want to do that two more times if that makes sense to y'all because I have to do it to install the short throw shifter and then I would also have to do it to see what's going on with the throw out bearing and why it's making that noise. So it just makes sense to kill two birds with one stone instead of sitting here, you know, racking my brain over, you know, doing the job twice. To be honest with y'all you always want to work smarter not harder you feel me so with that being said um right now you know i'm 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 liking the springs i like the stance that the car has now um it is significantly lower like for for real. like I, I know i keep saying that in this video but it's it's true bro the car sits a decent amount lower than stock man and just for you know just for springs that's that's insane you know what i mean like springs normally give you a drop but like damn this is this is damn near slammed i feel like i'm on coilovers or this is really and truly the ride height that i would be um on my bags when i had bags on mamba you know what i'm saying i would barely have a wheel gap at all slow than a bitch sitting there on their phone like i don't understand that gotta be a prius driver huh anyway yeah, man, that's probably going to do it for this video, you guys. I'm loving the springs, how they're riding so far. We're definitely so far so good. Um, I will update you guys if anything changes. I'm definitely going to have to lift the car up um, to do the brakes, of course, but also just go over all the bolts and stuff like that, make sure everything's tightened down um, because I'm really not liking that noise, that clunking sound that I'm getting um, whenever I hit like a bump. It's, it sounds like, it really does sound like a strut is loose or something like that back there. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm pretty sure I tightened everything, double tightened everything, but with suspension, um, you know what I'm saying? It's different after the suspension has settled on the car. You are gonna have to make tweaks and stuff like that. That's the whole point. Like I said earlier, of going on the test drive to see if you can hear any noises before going out and, you know, beating on the car and stuff like that. Even though we can't beat on the car yet just because of the clutch. But we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. We're, al we're almost there, man. Damn, I'm so ready to get on it, bro. Like, for real, for real. I'm, I'm really excited to see how this clutch performs, man. They say that it grabs crazy. It grabs crazy is what they what they say in the comments, man. So we'll see. We'll see, man. We'll see. Yeah, y'all hear that? Yeah. It has a little bit of clunking and stuff like that. If you guys have Ibach lowering springs, please comment down below and let me know if that's normal. Because again, I really am actually worried about that. So y'all let me know down in the comment section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications if you haven't already. Join the JI squad. Make sure you stay tuned. 
to all of the videos and all of the social media platforms, J.I. Productions underscore and official underscore BYO dot shop. Um, I'm telling y'all, I'm about to drop the second merch line. And trust me, these designs, these logos, mind blowing. Can't wait to show you guys. Love y'all. Till next time. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.